For years, RAM was the easy PC upgrade. It was the cheap part, the part you could grab on sale for 25 bucks and instantly your computer was faster. But those days are gone. RAM prices are skyrocketing and not by a little. In some cases, they've doubled or even more. And yes, AI is to blame. Over the last year, DDR4 and DDR5 RAM prices have surged hard. Some kits that used to sell for around 40 to 50 bucks are now hitting the over $100 price tag. And performance sticks, so high-end RAM, it's even worse. This is not normal fluctuation, so what's going on? The answer is simple. AI, they don't just use GPUs and CPUs, they need RAM. And not just a little bit of RAM, massive amounts of RAM. Specifically, they need high-density DRAM and HBM memory. They need this to train, run, and scale themselves. This surge in demand right now is pulling millions of RAM modules into data centers. And companies like Meta, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, OpenAI, and Google are buying them faster than manufacturers can make them. It's a simple matter of supply and demand. Now, three of the biggest memory manufacturers out there, Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron, well, they're already shifting huge percentages of production away from consumer RAM, so the stuff that we buy that we need for our computers, they're not producing that as much, and moving more towards high bandwidth memory for AI servers. And why wouldn't they? AI data centers are willing to pay four to 10 times more per module than a normal PC buyer. We just can't compete. So consumer availability shrinks and prices spike. And now to be fair, these companies aren't really just being greedy, even though it hurts us as the consumers a lot. But the reality is these AI models, they do require an absurd amount of memory. GPT like models like ChatGPT require terabytes of RAM. If you're running LLMs in production, you need racks of HBM and data center scaling globally. Well, that's nonstop memory consumption. So this is all fancy talk for basically saying they are using the RAM the RAM that they're purchasing or all of this memory they're purchasing, it does go into use and it is needed for what they're doing, but it's not great for us. When a single data center can buy more RAM in a month than every PC gamer in an entire, in an entire country, the consumer market just gets squeezed, okay? These guys just have way more money than we do, obviously, right? These big companies, we just cannot buy the RAM at the rate that they're buying it. And why would we? We only need so much for our computers but they're buying it in massive amounts like they are is absolutely destroying our market too. So when is it gonna end? When are the prices gonna go back down? Well, they might not. Analysts expect that prices will increase through the rest of 2025, we're almost done, and possibly into 2026. DDR5 is expected to be hit the hardest. And that's exactly what new PCs and gaming rigs need and use. Okay, so if you're planning on building or upgrading, waiting may actually be worse than just doing it now. So if you've been watching the RAM prices go up and thinking to yourself, I'll just wait for them to come back down, I wouldn't do that. Uh, it does seem like they're going to keep going up. You might get lucky, but it's like any market. You never know. It could go either way, right? But it does seem right now that most of the analysts, most of the experts, they agree the prices are going to continue to increase. Now the truth is AI, it's not really slowing down. It's probably not going anywhere anytime soon. These companies are pretty fixated on it and neither is the demand for memory. That's going to continue to be the case. RAM used to be the cheapest upgrade. Now it's becoming a premium component and it really shouldn't be. It should be one of the cheaper upgrades for your computer. But if you're thinking about waiting on your RAM, buy now, I would not wait any longer. It does seem like it's just gonna keep going up. If you need help choosing the right RAM or speeding up your computer without overspending, reach out to us here at My Computer Works. We can help you out with that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, we see some RAM prices go down, but again, I don't think that's gonna be the case, but we'll have to wait and see together. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe down below before you go, and I'll see you on the next one.